average people have love affairs with excuses but dangerous is the man that understands the only enemy is the one that he sees in the mirror champions own their dreams and they hold themselves accountable to their actions they would rather die than live within the limits of mediocrity warriors understand that to be average is to not live at all therefore they choose discipline and commit themselves to doing day in and day out what it takes to achieve greatness champions put an inner standard in place that makes them unstoppable they get up every single day and dominate these are the game changers that won't settle for second place anything second to them makes them sick when a champion sets foot in the ring you can smell the hunger when a warrior sets foot on the field you can feel the presence of greatness when the young king steps foot on the court you can see the fire and ambition in his eyes His dedication and devotion to his craft Introduces him before he ever says a word You can feel and sense the presence of a warrior Who's got greatness on his mind What you are seeing is the birth of a legend Defeat cannot take root in a mind that starves it of oxygen Champions cultivate an inner soil that is infertile to losing Dangerous is the man who understands his only enemy is the one he sees in the mirror Blessed and unstoppable Dangerous is the one who fell in love with the grind Who married the process Who's addicted to sweat Who has an inner standard of greatness That won't allow him to be anything other than the best version of himself Dangerous it's the man whose mouth is allergic to excuses Dangerous is the one who can see the dream clear in his mind And refuses to let go of it Who gets up every single day And pursues that dream with reckless abandonment Warrior only knows one word And that word is victory Champion gets up every day and executes he focuses on the small things Cause he knows if he masters the small things The big things will eventually come back to him Dangerous It's the man who refuses to quit Although he gets knocked down He refuses to give up The overcome Will not tap out Defeat Losing is not an option They refuse to concede to any other outcome Than victory Repetition Practice, training, is all he lives for His appetite, relentless His spirit, restless His mind, fearless His approach, boldness His style, ruthless His legacy, chasing greatness Dangerous is the man that understands His only enemy is the one that he sees in the mirror no more excuses. I'm Billy Alls Brooks. And I am blessed and unstoppable. One billion people. To God be the glory. Decisions ignite the explosion of change. And you are only one decision away from changing your whole life. My words are about to water the seeds of greatness that God planted in you a long time ago. I speak to the warrior in you, to the leader in you, to the champion in you. Every challenge, trial, and tribulation you face is a future testimony. Your victory could be somebody else's inspiration. Never, ever give up. I hear the sound of a comeback. Failure is not an option. Refuse to concede. Opportunity will always find the person who refuses to quit. Breakthroughs are the offspring of consistent, focused intensity. Keep your mind on victory. Keep your mouth on victory. And in the morning when you open your eyes, you get up and you walk out that victory. I hear the sound of a comeback. Decisions ignite the explosion of change. So decide right now to become that champion you were meant to be. Life is a tug of war between you and the enemy to see who will bow out, who will throw in the towel, and who will give up first. I speak to the warrior in you. I speak to the leader in you. I speak to that champion in you, that overcomer in you. Arise! All things are possible to him that believeth. Take the limits 
myself a god. I can do all things to place who strengthens me. Stop settling for average. Stop taking what else less of what you are worth. Your mind, your faith, and your work ethic must become your weapons. Decisions ignite the explosion of change. Decide right now that you're gonna become that champion you are meant to be. Dreams watered with unwavering faith eventually become reality. I hear the sound of a comeback. It's not over. Your best days are ahead of you. Blessed and unstoppable. Now I have a vision in my mind for the way I want my life to look. And then there's this illusion that doesn't align with that vision. And the war is over these two different outcomes. Now me, I refuse to let go of that one that I'm holding in my mind, that one of being the greatest of all time. I refuse to accept being second. I refuse to entertain thoughts of being second. And I refuse to acknowledge that second even exists for me. I refuse to concede to any other outcome but being the greatest of all time. I did not come to be good at what I do. I did not come to be an all-star, to be MVP, to be in the Hall of Fame. I came to be the best that has ever done this. We give birth to a life equivalent to the mind state that we live through. So I have taken up residency in a place called excellence. And every thought I have, every word I speak, and every action I take is aligned with the vision that I see in my mind. Doubt produces nothingness. Destiny yields to the disciplined mind. So I starve the illusion and feed my dream. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I distort reality. And with my mind, I bend, I shape, I mold, and I sculpt every aspect of my life until it looks like my dream. I'm coming to be the greatest of all time. Nothing can stand in my way. I will either achieve my outcome, I will either reach and obtain my goal, or I will die trying. There is no other option for me. I came to be the greatest. So I will grind every single day until you give me what I came for. Doubt produces nothingness. Destiny yields to the disciplined mind. Distort reality. I stall the illusion and feed my dream. I've been knocked down. I've been knocked out. And I've been ridden off. And none of that has deterred me from pursuing the greatness on the inside of me. You see, greatness made me, therefore greatness is in me. You said I'd be nothing. You said I was just a dreamer living in La La Land. That my goals, my dreams, and my ambitions only happen in books or movies that is not real. But I'm about to give you a lesson and display to you the power of the mind to show you my PhD in grind an alumni of grind university with a major in perseverance now there's two things in life there's the promises of God and the illusions and lies of everything else and as for me and my house we will serve the Lord and I will make thee a great nation and I will bless thee and I will make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing now that promise is available to anybody but the difference in me and the rest is I actually believe that the only thing that I am second to is God I get up every day and I dominate I master the small things the details knowing that eventually the big things in life will come bow to me I am an overcomer I am a soldier I am a warrior, I am a champion, I am a king, I am the greatest of all time. You ask me why I'm so sure of my victory, it's because I have fought the battle in my mind a million times. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Everything in life 
has a required mental vibrational level of thought in order for it to be understood and to walk in truth is to vibrate at the highest level of human existence. Truth is the couture for greatness. Trials and tribulations stand not a chance against a man who will not quit. I am not scared of the word no. I do not bow to rejection. I will not accept defeat. I am deaf, blind, and new to losing. Therefore, losing cannot exist. The physical realm always responds and obeys the mental state that you project. I did not come to be good, to be an all-star, to be the MVP, to be in the Hall of Fame. I came to be the best that's ever done this. People told me the dream I was dreaming was a fantasy. That things like that only happen in books and in movies. So I responded by wrapping myself in fire, my passion, and fully committing myself to the vision I saw in my mind. I wrote the book, became the movie, and now I live the life they call a fairy tale. The greatest of all time. This is Billy Osbrooks, and I am blessed and unstoppable, and to God be the glory. There's not a person on my team in 16 years that has consistently beat me to the ball every play. That ain't got nothing to do with talent. That's just got everything to do with effort. Nothing else. 15 straight years. 12 Pro Bowls later, if you want numbers. I done saw all of it. And the only thing that's kept me around is my effort. So when you put on this, all I ever knew, because I wasn't a number one recruit, I wasn't a number one linebacker, I wasn't even in the media guy. All I ever knew was effort will get me seen on tape. Effort will get me noticed to get to the league. Effort would one day take care of my mom and my kids. Effort, which is between you and you. Nobody else can give you effort. Effort is with inside, man. And I'm still grinding because the next kid is talking about he getting too old. Keep watching me if I am. Nobody ain't got to convince me of what I do. I do what I do because I do what I do because I'm built from something. And man didn't create it. Every one of you men in here have that opportunity, man. But ask yourself the question personally, how much time you really wasting? Real. Or do you really represent this? I represent it because it's all I have. It's the only brotherhood I've ever been formed to. That's why when I see y'all perform on Saturdays, that is my piece. That's why I run to the hotels. I don't need to talk to nobody before my games. I just need to see what I once came from. I sat in these same chairs you guys sat in, man. I sat around the greatest athletes in the world. And then I found myself totally different because everybody was asking the question, who is this kid? I'm just sharing my story to tell y'all, every time you think somebody got it good, man, they ain't always good. Somebody just, some, some people just make up their mind and they just grind and say the heck with it, man. Because sometimes that's all you can do. How much of our brains are we really going to use? I use mine to tell somebody today, September 11th, when I step on the field against the Pittsburgh Citizens, if that's what God will is, there's no other man out there willing to give up what I'm willing to give up. I said that in 1993, when I said I wanted to be the greatest hurricane, and the only thing that I got in the middle of all of that distance is the only thing that follows work is results. There's no other blueprint. I ain't got no other secrets to tell y'all today. I ain't come here for nothing else but to tell you, if you want to do something, work at it. You want a better relationship with God, work at it. You want to understand why pulling your pants up is important, why yes ma'am and no ma'am is important, why being in the meeting with complete silence when somebody walks in, because it's presence and essence that determines respect. 
So all we talking about, the power of respect is never to disrespect. That's why I was the first one sitting down in the meeting. Um, I ain't got nothing to say. Y'all do y'all good. I got to listen. Something out there I need to grab from it. Sitting on the same football field as you am. 1993. And I made a quote. And that some people call controversy, I call it confidence. I said that I might be the greatest player to ever walk up out of the universe of mine. I did not say that because I thought I was better than everybody else. I said that simply because I was willing to put in the work to now be back here 18 years later and tell you the only brotherhood I still have. You got to say yes to your life. You've got to say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. Yes, I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. It sits on my chest in a shirt form. But the eye of that real hurricane is found in my heart. This is where it all came from. Same path y'all walk. Same calves y'all going in. Same green tree y'all walking up and down. I, mean, I had one pair of jeans in college for at least two years. At least two years. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year but eventually it will subside and something else will take its place if i quit however it will last forever y'all spoil some of y'all spoil just bottom line your parents have done everything for you you never had to do nothing for yourself you're spoiled we're gonna keep it real tonight some of you are spoiled brats every time you ever got in trouble somebody in your house got you out of it Every time you've done something you're not supposed to do, people say, Eric, your mother's a tyrant. You're right. She kicked me out. You're right. She's mean, but she developed a man because she put me out there and said, you're going to have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up. And so every time something get hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. Somebody said, I don't go home. I feel bad. Go, go through it. You ain't going to die at the end of pain and success. You're not going to die because you're feeling a little pain. We have gotten to a point where it's midterms and we're moving forward. The days of you getting money, I'm not saying we quitting, but I'm saying the day has got to go from external to internal. You have to give it everything you got. No more TV, no more parties, no more playing. If you don't have a 4.0, what you need to be doing is studying. Stop being this high school dropout. Stop giving up, stop sleeping on the streets, stop walking up and down Finkel Avenue like you ain't got nothing and get your GED. Stop being afraid to take a test. I don't care about the fact I'm in a hole now. Doesn't matter about where I am. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. Stop being afraid to go to college because your daddy didn't go and your mama didn't go. I haven't exposed all my stuff yet. Stop being afraid and be the best Eric Thomas you can be. But listen to me, it's going to be hard. It took me 12 years to get a four-year degree, but I got it. And guess what? On a degree, it don't have dates. So if it took you four and it took me 12, it don't show up nowhere. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes. Yes. The greats do things when they don't always want to. And I think that's what separates good 
from great. There are days you're not gonna wanna do it, sure. I mean, everybody has those days. But it's what you do on those days that help you move forward. The work ethic is the number one variable. You know zero people on earth that have been really successful that haven't put in the work, zero. Mommy and daddy gave them a crap load of money, cool. But anybody who's ever earned it, put in the work. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. There are always gonna be ups and downs, but I think it's really how you get back on your horse and keep going forward and never give up. They have to work for it, yeah. It's not gonna be easy, but if you want it bad enough, they'll do whatever it takes to get there. It's a one person game, and here's that game. Do you think that somebody owes you something or don't you? If you think somebody owes you something, then you get lazy and you're entitled and you're getting weak and you're getting soft and you're gonna lose. If you think that nobody owes you anything, then you get to work. Dreams require sacrifices. You don't get to the 1% land. You don't get to that unbelievable place of happiness. You don't get to live your dream. You're not entitled to your dream. You have to fucking bleed for your fucking dream. There is no soccer game on Saturday. There's no Sunday dinner with the family. You're working. Don't do it if you don't have the stamina to get kicked around and driven into the ground and get up and do it again and beaten up by people that tell you, this is not kumbaya stuff, this is hardcore stuff. Life ain't about medals. It ain't about the certificates. It ain't about houses, money, cars, fame, all that bullshit. It's about stars. So when you get judged with everything is said and done with, you won't get judged on your medals. You get judged on your stars. Those stars show your willingness to get to the side. They show your failures. They show your willingness to start from scratch. They show what you're willing to do to go the distance. You see what you're capable of. I'm number one because I have an insatiable desire to get better, to learn, to improve, to stay on top of my game. You cannot get to a level and quit. You gotta keep studying, studying, studying. Find the routines, make the adjustments, put in the times, hone your craft, honor your craft, and then boom, you're gonna wake up one day and master. I'd ask people what are their goals, and they're like, oh, I wanna go to the gym more. That's not a goal, that's a habit. People like, I want to get in better shape. That's not specific. It's gotta be like a target, something you can hit, and how you build that in your mind, the vision, it's very, very important as you bombard your subconscious, and many of you are doing mind movies or vision boards, things like that, but to really ingrain this into your being is gonna be key, and so I love this phrase, this is the ultimate self-development.